All right, boys, I made a Minecraft server. Boys is just a term. You can be a girl as well. Shelby, was it, was it like a month it took me to make this? Yeah, forever. Forever, she says. All right, everybody. This is the best Minecraft server you'll ever see in your lifetime. One moment. Oh, that's unexpected. This server's modded, all right? So you're gonna have to do a few steps to get into the server. I'll put like a photo, maybe. Let me talk to you about some of the mods, all right? One, there's proximity voice chat. You get good boy points if you use the in-game proximity chat because it took a while to set up. Cooking is a big part in this mod pack. <coughs> to find the stuff that you can cook, type in food and then it's all there. Sometimes when you're farming, you'll get extra plants for fun. I made it so the more food that you eat, the more health you get. And I'm not talking temporary hearts, I'm talking permanent hearts. You make a roast chicken and you serve it to your friends. You gotta kiss the cook, all right? Make a restaurant. You could be the restaurant owner. We got the create mod. If you don't know what the create mod is, you gotta Google it. I'm not gonna explain it, but it's incredible. It's got trains, some add-ons for it. You can you can have a generator and then you can send it over power cables. I think it looks sick. If you're doing create stuff, try and use that. There's this mod called Ars Nouveau. You go into just enough items, you type at Ars, and then you get all the Ars stuff. And uh, you, can, you can be a mage. And uh, if you do it enough, you can be really powerful. I don't know, maybe that's what you want. You don't have to do it, I don't care. You know what's nice? Fences, they can go on diagonals now. Chains, you can connect them by fence posts. We also got fairy lights. If you want your place to look absolutely cute. You know what's epic? World generation. World generation is epic. Continents mod makes it so that there's islands. It's now, it's like Wind Waker. Speaking of Wind Waker, paraglider's in the game now, just like the Zelda. You know, I know you guys love your little Zeldas. Guys, guys, watch out. If you leave the starting island, things are gonna get a bit harder the farther you go. Hence the mod, harder, farther. We're gonna be on an island. It's gonna be, it's gonna be swell, guys. You're gonna need nature's compass if you wanna use create because in create you need andesite and andesite now only spawns in andesite caves. Oh, you know what's neat? Sending mail to your friends. There's this mod called contact that I've installed where you can have mailboxes and you can send each other postcards and parcels. And this is especially useful if you're using the proximity chat. Spoiler alert, that's probably what I'm gonna be focusing on on the server. It's gonna, I'm gonna be the mailman. And I'll make a post office. It's gonna be epic. I get excited about being a mailman in Minecraft. You know what's cool? What's cool? Thank you for asking, Shelby. The nether. The nether is cool. You know, you build an obsidian frame, you light it on fire, you can go to hell. What's cooler than going to hell? Well, I'll tell you what's cooler than going to hell. Going somewhere other than hell. That's right, we got Dimension Mod. Deeper Darker, which expands on the deep dark. That's where the warden spawns and you have to be quiet. You look up Deeper Darker on Google. You can find out how to go there. There's another dimension called the Undergarden also spooky. Look it up on Google how to go there. Mm -hmm. There's the Twilight Forest. This is classic. You can fight some bosses there. I don't know. It's up to you. You could do you, you do whatever the hell you want. And then there's the Bumble Zone. If you throw an ender pearl at a at a beehive, you can go inside the beehive and then you can hang out with bees. What's cooler than that? I'm probably not going to go in any of them. I'm too much of a wuss. But if that's your thing, go if you are in the overworld, there shouldn't be that many aggressive mobs. But if you go to the nether, that's a different story, all right? You might die. And if you're in a cave, you might encounter a goblin trader. They're nice. I also put in a bunch of boss mods, but good news, the bosses don't spawn. You have to create them, kind of like the wither. So that way your day isn't ruined unless you purposely make your day ruined. Uh, exploring is now good. There's new armor. All you have to do is look up armor and then you'll get it all. If you use the vanilla armor, you're gonna get one of these. 
So you should try using the uh, modded armor. You'll look a lot cooler. I'm gonna take a little sip of my drink. Okay, so there's a new weapon. Type in at simply, and then you'll get the simply swords stuff. If you use the vanilla swords, you're gonna get uh, a little, 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 just a side look. You're gonna get a, is that a vanilla sword? Ooh, kind of cringe. All right, guys, this one's a big one. It's called Journey Map and Frontiers. So if you press J, you can now get a world map of everything that you've explored. And then if you look at the side of the screen, you could see Create New Frontier. This is how you claim land, and this is how you wars can start. If you want to start a war, do that. You can also assign banners. If you assign a banner, you get big thumbs up. And then put banners all over the place and to show people how proud you are of your new country. This is my flag and I'm proud to be part of this country. If you're going out exploring with your friends, you can now revive each other, which is cool. I wouldn't recommend reviving them if they are dead in lava though. The server is gonna start out in spring and then it's gonna go through seasons. That's the Serene Seasons mod. You can see what season you're in on the HUD. It also changes the fertility of crops. That changes the way farming works and that's epic. I literally played Stardew Valley and I was like, this, but Minecraft. I added a mod called Small Ships and it makes it so there are small ships. And if you use a vanilla boat, you're gonna get a little bit of a side eye. You're gonna get a, it's kind of a lame boat. I actually wanted to ban vanilla boats so that way people had to use the small ships. So if y'all could just not use the vanilla boat, that would be swell. Just use the small ships. It's a good looking mod. You, by the way, you hit R to open the sails. See if thieves mode. You can also put cannons on those ships. What's cooler than that, dude? I played Sea of Thieves like a little too much and I was like this but Minecraft. You're also gonna find waystones around Minecraft. They look like this. You just right click on them and then you can teleport in between them. You'll find them in villages. I also added a few mods to make it so you can hire villagers to either fight for you or work for you. You just have to talk to villagers and get them to a certain level or something and then you can hire them. I also got this mod called Zetter which allows you to paint so you know like those Minecraft paintings? Well now you can paint your own. Last mod guys, this is the last one. End remastered. Now you can't get to the end the usual way. You have to collect special eyes. You have to collect special eyes. How to collect the eyes? Google it, who cares? You just don't go to the end. You can go to the end, but it's good luck. This server is gonna be a little funky. I'm gonna make it so uh, every day at eight o'clock it's gonna start and then at every day at 2 a.m it's gonna shut down so that way everyone's on at the same time so the server is gonna run for one month and then i'm gonna shut it down and like save it so that way it's like preserved we'll put it in a museum indiana jones style after the server is all shut down and put in the museum there's gonna be an award ceremony for uh for for people doing good job. So there's gonna be awards like best painter. There's gonna be an award for the best chef. If you're the best mage using the Ars Nouveau mod, you get an award. Uh, there's gonna be awards for best dressed. You have the flashiest armor, you get an award. If you can map out the entire island, you get an award. If you have the biggest collection of animals, you get an award. If you have the largest army, you get an award. If you have the longest road, you get an award. We're going Catan rules with this B word. Best architect, you get an award. If you have the coziest home, you get an award. If you collect the most eyes for the, the end remastered mod, award. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So you should play Minecraft. Took me like a month to make this thing. Shelby's asking, Shelby says play it. So that means you gotta. Anyway, good talking to y'all.